South African Medical Association is calling for specialized courts to deal with medical legal cases. Now, this amid the trial of pediatric surgeon Dr. Peter Beale. Beale is facing three counts of murder for allegedly performing unnecessary and fatal surgeries on children for financial gain. He made his first appearance back in 2019 over the death of a 10 year old boy who was operated on for acid reflux. Well, two more murder charges were added to the charge sheet following the deaths of a 20 month old and a two-year-old. The Medical Association says such cases require expert opinion. But for more on this, I'm joined by the chairperson of SAMA's Human Rights Law and Ethics Committee, Dr. Mark Human. Dr. Mark Human, thank you so much for your time and good morning to you. Uh, let's discuss the uh, significance of uh, your call as SAMA for a medical legal court. You're saying a court that specializes in medical legal cases. Why do you think this is such a need? Good morning, Tamela, and good morning to all your viewers. Yes, this is just a small part of what we're actually calling for. It's really a part of a bigger picture. We need a complete overhaul of the whole medical legal framework and the way it works in this country, because <clears throat> the way it currently works is it's a it's a very much a, an American type tort law system which um, aims to point blame and then deliver compensation. But very often, all too often, actually, the patients, their relatives, they do not get what they are really looking for. Justice is not properly um, facilitated. The, the process which should engender learning and correction of errors, because, of course, errors happen mm -hmm. in medical environments. Unfortunately, all too often, we, we much more commonly than we, than we care to acknowledge, these things happen. And the process from the minute that adverse event takes place is horribly diseased in our country. Mm. So we need to head towards a mediation system. We need to head towards, if you get to the point where you're starting to prosecute people, mm. specialized courts that understand the intricacies involved. These are highly complex issues. Almost never is it just one thing that results in the death or the or, or the or severe complication happening to a patient. And almost never is it just the actions of the doctor. But whereas our system looks to point a finger mm -hmm. and that finger invariably gets pointed at where the money can be extrapolated from. And the only reason that that goes straight towards the doctor is because most of us pay exorbitantly high medical legal insurance premiums. And that funds the whole issue. And it literally is in no one's interest to stop this, apart, of course, from mm. the patient who doesn't get what they want. And the cost of health care is almost doubled by the, by the medical insurance or certainly massively inflated. So, so, Doc, are you saying that someone from a more prosecuting authority cannot even begin to comprehend the complexities involved in such medical cases? 100% right. Yes, they, I, I fully understand that they understand that they know how to prosecute cases where ordinary um, circumstances are involved. I mean, just charging a surgeon with murder. Think about this. That mm. it presupposes some kind of premeditation. So, what are they saying? That Professor Peter Beal, renowned pediatric surgeon, person who's taken on unbelievably high-risk cases, person who was awarded a ministerial medal of honor for services to, to South Africa's children, that he intentionally went to work to kill some babies. I mean, come on. Mm. It's, it's beyond, it literally is beyond absurd. And, the, and the, the, the allegations like this was done for financial gain, come on. This is a guy who's been, who's, who's at the very top of his career, who he, he doesn't. He didn't need to be working anymore. He could have retired a while ago, and and so he what? He's operating on babies and killing them so that he can make money. That doesn't sound like a very good financial plan to me. Mm. Uh, for more parental perspective, I mean, the parents of those young children uh, that subsequently died, and you did mention that you know there are many incidents I can imagine uh, where it goes horribly wrong, uh, Dr. Human. Uh, what about those parents? What, what uh, recourse do you think they can receive uh, in terms of finding justice for their children's loved ones? Because I can imagine for them, it's murder. For them, their child was taken away from them, uh, irrespective of the accolades. They can't comprehend or even consider those accolades. They just know they lost their child. Uh, from their perspective, how do you think they can receive justice? I, I, I fully understand that this must be extremely difficult. I cannot imagine what it must be like losing a child and for the Sayed family. 
um, and the other families involved. Mm. This must be horrendous. I think that if they were provided with fully transparent answers about all the things that went wrong in the case, not that, ah, the surgeon killed your child, you know, mm. deliberately he murdered your child. You've got to be joking. with me. All of these things that went wrong in the case led to the complication that resulted in, the, in, in this horrible outcome. And, and I think the problem is the, the families never get this. They write a letter of complaint to the, to the horribly dysfunctional Health Professionals Council of South Africa. They wait months and then they get a one-page letter saying the surgeon was not negligent because the, the bar for, for negligence is, is, is as set at a certain level and there was no clearly provable negligence. Mm. Or then there lands up a civil case where there's some kind of settlement and a different... And a different um, by set, you know, because the, the civil, the criminal and the professional, which is health professionals council, they can all run concurrently these cases and frequently do. And so often the parents want to know what happened. They want to understand. And they never given that by our current system. Well, we'll have to leave it there. And I appreciate you speaking to us about this, giving us uh, perspective. Dr. Mark Human from the SA Medical Association, thank you so much for your time.